there's a great little tool in Inkscape and it's called the pencil tool. It's over on the left hand side in the menu. It's about halfway down. It says draw freehand lines and it's a pencil. There's a menu along the top with a couple different modes and some smoothing and a shape and this can be a little bit intimidating because if you click on the menus you've got all these options and it's like what are all of these things right and if you try to draw a pencil line like I'm doing right now just by dragging along in Inkscape you get this kind of wimpy little line that sticks out and it is a vector when I click on the edit paths by node tool it is a vector but it's not very impressive it's just looking like a little tiny pencil doodle. So in this video I'm going to walk through how you can make some decent looking pencil designs. I do want to point out if you've never heard of Inkscape before and if you're not sure what this is all about, Inkscape is a free tool. It's available online and you can just download it and install it for like Windows 10. It's very easy to use and it can just be a little bit intimidating because there's all these different options in Inkscape. There's menus along the left, there's menus along the right, there's these color swaths down at the bottom. So it's like, yeah, 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 what are we gonna do? So today we're gonna focus on this pencil tool. So I'm clicking on the pencil tool on the left hand side. And then what I'm gonna do here at the top is I'm going to change this shape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to ellipse. I'm gonna change the scale now to go up to 0.7. And now when I draw this, you can see the ends of it are tapered off as if I was drawing with a feathered brush or like a quill, okay? So we're getting better now. This isn't so wimpy, right? This scale is the size of the actual pen width. So you can go really big, really fat, or you can go really tiny, right down to zero. Now it goes in increments of plus 0.5, like goes three, 3.54, but you can manually do it as well. So if you wanted to do like 0.25, just type it in manually at the top, and then you can see now it's changed it as well. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is with the ellipse selected, I'm going to go up to triangle in, so I'm using the shape menu, and I'm going to click and drag my mouse, and we can see, I'm just gonna, just gonna zoom in here a little bit on this, the left hand side of the path is open and the right hand side of the path is a triangle. It goes down to nothing. I'll just zoom back out. If I change the shape to triangle out and I do this same line, you'll see it's now backwards. I'll actually change the scale there so you can see it a bit better. You'll see the right hand side is open and the left hand side is closed. It's like it's triangle out. And then if you change it to triangle in, same deal you'll see that it tapers off. So the ellipse is doing that tapered off piece on both elements, on both ends of it, which is kind of nice. So one thing that you can do with the pencil tool is that you can select ellipse. My scale will be say 1.25 and I'm just gonna draw a circle. So I'm just gonna use my mouse tool. I'm just gonna draw a circle like that. And you can see it's kind of like herky-jerky because I'm using a mouse, right? And so I don't have the same fluidity as if I was using a hand, like my hand, right? So what you can do, I'm just gonna hit Control Z to undo that, Control Z, is you can change this thing here on the left-hand side at the top. It says smoothing. And what I would encourage you to do is play around with this and go up to like say 25 for smoothing. And now when I draw a circle, even though it's kind of herky-jerky, it smooths it out a bit more. You can see there's not many nodes in this circle and it's actually a little bit more of a circle. I'll go Control Z and undo that. What you can also do is change the mode if you're drawing uh, circular paths. The second type of mode in is called a spiral path. And this actually talks to the, the nodes, they talk differently to each other. So now when I do a big circle, you can see how smooth that is. And I didn't draw that very you know um, refined. I just kind of you know used my mouse and just made just sort of some wiggles. And you can see how smooth that is. So if you're using curves, I would encourage you to do mode spiral path. And if you're doing straighter lines, you may want to do the mode, just the regular one. It says regular Bezier path. But again, you may want to play around with this as well. Another thing that you can do in Inkscape is you can draw border lines. So clicking the pencil tool, having my ellipse selected, I can just draw like a wave and I can make it look somewhat curved and then I can add in a couple little pieces like that. So this becomes like an underline. So if I had text, for example, I could underline it. You could also do an arrow, for example. You could draw a line like that and then drawing on the point, I could draw a point out 
drawing on the point again, I could draw a point out and I could make an arrow. Now these are editable. So when I click Edit Paths by Node, you can see I've also got these little nodes here and I could move this around if I wanted to as well. Now you're not going to have a lot of points here, but you could move these around and you could also flip them to make them a little bit thicker or even inverted if you wanted. So overall, I really like the pencil tool. I think it's a really fun way that you can play around with different types of designs and you can make interesting looking circles, swaths, and you can also make connector tools as well. You can draw some really nice designs without having to use an Apple Pencil or without having to use any sort of high-end graphic software. You can just simply bang out some doodles here and you can make some really nice hand-drawn stuff which I think really could look good, uh, especially if you're selling digital designs. This was really easy to do and of course you've got the color palette down there, down at the bottom, where you can change individual colors on things as well. I do want to point out, if you wanted to make all of this one item, then what you would do is select each item, I'm holding down the shift key, and then you would go path union. That would then create the whole thing into one vector. You can see now I've got all the individual vectors inside my heart, but it's one thing because I did the unionized path. So I hope you found that helpful. I really enjoy using the pencil tool. It's just a fun way to do doodles, to do digital designs without having to worry about spending a lot of time drawing. As always, I do welcome your questions and your comments. I absolutely love using Inkscape because it's free. And hey, you can't beat free. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Take care.